Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> I was practicing. <laughs> hey, that's great. Yes, of course. In the in the practice too. Okay, and what were you practicing? I was practicing about the 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 announcement that the university of of financial rock is financial. Mm -hmm. um, well, are, are posting for the students uh, with a with a work um work student work to the program work study program. I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, and then, uh, well, I heard the conversation, and of course, I didn't understand all the all the words. But uh, as as far as I know, uh, in, in summarizing, is that the girl is very interested in taking part of that program, and the boy is not is interested at all because he says that he is not eligible for that program. Uh, but and nevertheless, he encourages her to. Um, to apply to be part of that program. Okay. Hey, that's the idea. It's, to be honest, it's almost impossible many times to understand everything about the program or about the listening. The important yes. is to try to get as much as you can. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm glad that you're, you have a lot of those practice that's going to help you to get even better. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, I believe that it is not possible uh, that I have been all the time a uh, kind of person that it is very uh, uh, interested in learning and learning and learning. And I don't know what happened to me. Um, sometimes I don't remember all the words I want to express. And um, my mind is in blank sometimes and uh, uh, because of my age, maybe. <laughs> It, yes it's part of it right i mean really it's part is we don't learn the older we get it's more difficult for us to learn and to remember everything so the same you know if somebody who is 19 20 tries to learn english it's easier somebody who is six seven years old is easier mm -hmm. it's yeah. it's it's part of it mm -hmm. yes of course so. well i am <laughs> almost 60 you know Oh wow, okay. Yeah. But it's yeah. a good thing that you are trying your best. That's the important. Yes, I like I like to practice my English. I don't know uh, what I what I'm going to do in, in next years, you know. I I I have people who are I'm teaching Bible, but I do it in English and sometimes they, they want me to tell them the Bible in, in, in other languages, like for, for example in Portuguese and in, in German or in, in, in Italian, uh, they are very interested. The, 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 the boys and girls are very interested in learning new new things, you know? That That's the idea. It, and I think as, even as an adult and for children, you never stop learning. You always have to continue and learn and try new things and find things that, that you like. Not, you're, not you have to learn everything, but learn more about the things that you like. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's what I think, and, and I believe that uh, when someone is teaching us, and and and, and he says he or the people who is teaching us, uh, they see that that we cannot uh, do it. Uh, they they feel a little bit frustrated, and 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 I and I I thought by myself, if I am a teacher and I am teaching, what would I feel if the if the, if the students that don't pay attention, don't have any interest in, interest in that, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, so I, ha I have to encourage by myself because I want that you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I do. I, I'm happy that you're, you're trying your hardest. And that's the most important. For me, it's important. Everybody is different. Some people learn English really fast, really yeah. fast. Some people turn English normal average yeah. and some people take two three times longer to learn english so it's no yeah. is no perfect way to learn english it's only you the way that you learn some people learn different and that's it yeah thank I you so much sandra for sharing okay. today 
we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we do have a speaking practice test. As yes. you remember yesterday, we finished off with the integrated questions. Today, we're going to be practicing a little bit of not only the integrated question, but also the questions that are number one and two, which are personal opinion questions. We're going to start with your partners reading. Remember, integrated are reading about the information, then listening, then making sure you read the question, understand what you have to do, and then you have to speak for one minute. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is the second type of questions where we're going to listen and then answer the questions according to what they ask us with information from that. After that, we're going to come back. We're going to make sure that it's clear and that you understand. And then today we also have many other sample questions. So besides that, today we also have many here. I will send you a link in a moment. But today we have, as you can see, we have the TOEFL sample speaking questions. Now, this means it's not exactly the questions because they never give you the questions for the test. But for example, they give you questions, the new questions, the questions for 2023 and 2024, the questions that are going to be the different types. Why? Because TOEFL also is changing. And TOEFL, mm -hmm. if, the, if the world changes, TOEFL changes the questions, right? If there is financial difficulty, TOEFL talks about financial, like in the time where uh, the United States, everything went down, then the TOEFL had more questions about economics, about housing crisis and things like that. Yes. So those are some of the things that we're going to have for today. Before we begin, were there any questions or things that you're not sure how to answer or any things, any issues with the platform? <coughs> Well, uh, I haven't only I have... the meter, the meter, the last meter for the the other uh, week, the next week. Oh, the final test uh, next week. Yes, the final test. Next week, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, but uh, Jenny said that uh, she was not able to enter all the all the equations uh, because the platform doesn't permit. Jenny? Mm -hmm. Jenny Campos. Oh, Jenny is here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I I try to to do the the final exam, mm -hmm. but I I I answer, but I can send because doesn't enable the save sets. Say, send. In the last part, it doesn't allow you to send. Yes. No, no, parece marcado. Doesn't send. Okay. I, I finished the exam and I can send. Okay. Let me check in this moment to see what it's, if there is an issue. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Um, let's try to take a look at yours. Uh, Jenny, can you share your screen? Because, for example, for me, here, let me show you. Here's the final exam. And I put okay. whatever, da, 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 any letters, just whatever to see. But at the bottom, I have the option to send. No. So, um, show, me, show me yours, Jenny. Okay. Hi. Pretty slow, my internet. <laughs> No, don't worry, Jane. Don't worry. Sometimes it, I know it's the technology. Sometimes the internet is slow. Besides Jenny with the problem with the exam, anybody else 
Does anyone else have a problem with the platform or with the exam? Me? Mm -hmm. Well, what I was doing was the the test, the, but this one I I don't think that it has any 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 grade, right? The I don't know which test you're talking about because uh, this, what, I told which, you which, which, what is this test? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, what I told you at the beginning. The we speaking are going to test tonight. Yeah. The one that we're going to do today. Yes, yes. Uh-huh, correct. The speaking one, there is no grade. It's only if it's okay. completed, if you watch the videos and things, but not for a grade, exactly. Okay. That's yeah. why if you, if you check in the part where it says Mi Progreso, it's going to give you, a, it's going to be blank for the grades because there are no grades for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have, it doesn't have any, any grades. Jenny, can you share the screen? It, it doesn't open because I, I don't have in my house. Another house is very slow. That's Okay, yeah. okay. No problem, Jenny. Um, another is when you have the opportunity, take a picture with the cell phone and send to the WhatsApp. And then we can check in the WhatsApp also. Okay. Okay, we'll try to do it like that. Okay. So, any other questions? No. Okay. So if there are no other questions, then in this moment, we are going to do the test. Remember, this is speaking practice test number two. Um, you're going to be in the platform. We have one integrate. Well, we have two integrated questions. One is with reading, Hi. listening, and the other was only with listening. Yes, Jenny? Yes, yeah. Okay. okay. I'll try. Yeah, no problem, Jenny. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh -huh. This one. Uh-huh. This one is not. Just it's click. Uh-huh. No, no, no. No. I, I need to complete. You need to complete. complete. Yes, I complete, complete the, the no, no, exam. No, no, no. Solo pone cualquier cosa y cualquier letra. Solo para ver, Jenny. Go ahead. Write it out. There you go. Exactly. All of them. All of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Nine. Let's check. Uh huh. Continue number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen to the lecture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Only. Yes. 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 All. Yes. all. Yes. Uh, okay. Ah, the tramposa quería ir uno. Ah, uh, no. Ah, no. Te descubrimos. All right, Jenny. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so there you go, Jenny. You have to answer everything and then you send. Okay. Yeah. No one by one. Okay. It's no problem. But thank you for asking because it's important. Maybe other people have thought they had a mistake too. Okay. So now are we ready? Thanks, teacher. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Thank you. Let's go this one. And then this one to number two. Okay. So now remember, we're going to do, we have uh, the two exams. We have 15 minutes for both partners to complete. And then we come back and we do the other ones. Okay.
Let me share for those that are at home watching this video. Here we have the instructions. First, read. The work study program gives undergraduate and graduate students the opportunity to earn money on campus to pay for their education related expenses. The pay is based on minimum wage, but can be higher based on job requirements. Students can earn up to 3000 per year, depending on financial need. To be eligible for consideration in the program, a student must be registered as a full-time student and must be able to demonstrate financial need. To obtain more information or to apply for one of the listed jobs, contact the financial aid office in Buckley Hall. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. Hey, do you know anything about the work-study program? A bit. You know that guy, uh, Jim, uh -huh. in our philosophy class? Well, he got a grant. You have to fill in papers about your financial needs, and then you're allotted an amount of money that you can earn and told how much you get per hour. Oh. Do you know how much he was paid? Uh, he was allotted the full amount. You know, Jim's from a big family, so money's tight. Uh-huh. Hey, I heard there's an opening in the astronomy department. Uh, that would give me some good job experience. You applying for something? Well, it'd be nice to get some job experience and be able to work on campus, but I'm not eligible. You have to really need financial aid. And between my summer job and my parents helping me out, well... Oh, you know what? I earned some money last summer. I wonder if I'll qualify. Maybe not for the full amount. Why don't you just go fill out the financial needs assessment form and find out? No harm in trying. Okay. Now, answer the question. The woman expresses her desire for a work-study job. State the requirements necessary for taking part in the program and explain the advantages discussed. You have 30 seconds to think about it, prepare. And now you have one minute to answer. Go. Okay. The next part, listen to part of the lecture in a cultural studies class. Okay. Part two. Although the entertainment industry is concerned with telling a good story, it has had a profound effect on people's conceptions and misconceptions of the world around them. Let me give you an example. There are many films and TV programs in which a serious crime takes place and a police detective solves or maybe doesn't solve the crime. It appears that these fictional crimes added to news reports of real crime cause viewers' perception of the rate of criminal behavior to outrank to exaggerate reality. In other words, the actual, let's say, murder rate is probably well below people's perception of the murder rate. I've just been talking about misconceptions of crime rates, but there are other misconceptions which may be more harmful. Now, I'm not saying that believing in an exaggerated level of criminality say a high murder rate isn't harmful, it could cause a lot of people undue stress, for example. But what I mean is misconceptions about race and gender stereotypes, a person of a different race or a female being typecast into certain roles. 
Think about, for example, the portrayal of a person in a wheelchair. He or she is either portrayed as overcoming incredible odds to do heroic deeds, or, on the other hand, being a helpless victim. Does this promote understanding or misconceptions? In the movies, doctors perform miracles, lawyers win cases, and crime scene investigators find the evidence. People in these actual professions often get clients with unreasonable expectations. Professional people comment that the reality of their daily routine, their job, is seldom like that portrayed in the media. Students are sometimes disillusioned about their career choice because the job seemed much more interesting in the television program than in reality. Unfortunately, we make these judgmental mistakes about our own society, knowing full well the existence of the fantasy created by the media industry. Okay. Now, using points and examples from the lecture, explain how the media has contributed to misconceptions about the real world. You have 20 seconds to prepare and one minute to answer. Okay, Rodrigo, go. Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo, no. All right. William, go ahead. William, Rodrigo, están ahí? I'm sorry, teacher. I'm just arriving. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll put you into the group and then that way you can practice, William. Okay, thank you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Rodrigo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, Rodrigo, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's try one more time, Rodrigo. Did you listen to the audio? No. Rodrigo, did you listen to the audio? Open. Rodrigo, open to the red. Rodrigo, are you are you there? Yes. Is prepared in the twenty second. This presentation is sixty sixty second. No. Rodrigo, ¿tú entiendes cuando yo hablo en inglés? Un poco. <laughs> sí, es que me preocupa cómo llegaste a este nivel, porque siento que sos un nivel bien básico, como que si fuera a, a nivel básico, Rodrigo, cuando yo trato de hablar con vos, escucho o te hago una pregunta, tú me contestas cosas totalmente diferentes. Um, no, lo que pasó fue que eh, descontinué el curso. Ajá. Casi, casi cuatro meses. Ajá. Hasta que lo aperturaron nuevamente, le perdí un poco la práctica. Sí, pero bastante, Rodrigo. Um, ¿Y qué sí. hiciste durante esos cuatro meses? ¿Cómo te mantuviste al día para estar con tu inglés? Ahí estoy con 
Estuve repasando lo intermedio porque como siempre queda abierto ¿no? la plataforma. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, Rodrigo. Pero ya en la parte de cómo oh, entender de lo, lo que quieres pensar o lo que quieras decir, me cuesta bastante. Sí, así veo, así veo. Um, está bien, Rodrigo, todos, todos tenemos retos que tenemos que ver. Um, lo importante es que ya que identificamos que este es un reto tuyo, eh, ¿qué podemos hacer para ayudarte? Entonces, una de las cosas que puedes hacer es practicar eh, grabándote tú mismo, contestando de tus audios, escuchándote, mirándose cómo está tu fluidez, tratando de imitar a otra gente, eh, cuando ves las cosas en la tele, repetirlo, imitarlo, um, hacer muchas actividades de escuchar, porque este es un nivel bien alto y la mayoría de veces cuando es, es como eh, te hago algo y es como que cuando alguien te dice, eh, mira y, y cómo va la comida. Me salí con, con cosas como que pupusas con queso y loroco. Yo, ¿qué, qué, qué? ¿De, qué, ¿De qué estás hablando, Rodrigo? Y, y usted quiere panes con pollo, ¿no? Ajá. Sí, sí, sí. Por eso te pregunto, Rodrigo. Es que eh, Yo... dejé eso y mejor me, me senté más en, como en el trabajo, pero sí me afectó demasiado descontinuar. Porque sí. no, no se me aperturó, aperturar un cupo. Entonces perdí esa parte de no, de no comer. Ajá, no, y, y yo entiendo, yo entiendo. Pero incluso para que haya llegado a este nivel, porque este nivel es después de avanzado. Entonces significa que hiciste sí. principiante, hiciste intermedio, hiciste preavanzado, hiciste avanzado. Y en eso... No, para, eso... Que, para que tenga una idea, desde, como desde marzo, no estoy peleando ahí que... que... para seguir, pero sí me afectó uh -huh. de estar. Yo te entiendo, yo entiendo. E exacto, solo que es, por ejemplo, es como que en, a ver cómo te lo es como que alguien que se graduó de bachillerato y le preguntas mira, y cuatro por ocho, no hombre, ya tengo un año de no estudiar, eso no me acuerdo. O sea, son cosas que... Ajá. que básica que no importa eh, puede ser 15, 20 años pero son cosas básicas en tu conversación que desde de por vida te debe de, de quedar y, y eso es, me preocupa de cómo has perdido tanto o, o es que nunca en los cursos anteriores no, no practicabas mucho Rodrigo, era de los que calladitos y dejaba que los eh, otros hablaran eh, más que todo el tutor no, no, no dejaba como daba la clase y no no interactuaba no, no 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 daba ese no 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 te conocía como para no. hey, hablar ah, solo es de la nota de la de, de preocuparse de, de terminar y completar las actividades ajá en la aplicación ok ok Rodrigo perfecto bueno entonces ok no no te preocupes si sí te va a costar un poco más en ese aspecto Porque, o sea, falta de vocabulario, comprensión. Pero sí, no es que no se lo pueda. Último. Ajá, sí, no es que no se pueda, solo que sí, sí te va a costar mucho más, más. Para, para poder hacerlo. Pero tranquilo, ya vamos a ver. Eh, voy a ver cómo podemos hacer y voy a hablar para ver si hay, hay chance para que puedes retomar algunos de los cursos donde tenés la oportunidad de hablar un poco más. ¿Ok, Rodrigo? Okay. Ok, tranquilo. ¿Y cómo te sentí vos? ¿Todo ¿Te sentí bien? ¿Sentí que estás agarrando algo de las ideas o, o no? Sí, la verdad sí. A ver, sí lo, se lo entiende muy bien. Ajá. O sea, la, la comprensión sí, sí la estás entendiendo, Rodrigo. Sí, de veces de lo que eh, a trabajar en un grupo, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Muy bien. ¿Quién? Los demás. No, no, no. Todos los demás los tengo conectados. Es que contigo quería hablar porque ya tengo días de estar viéndote esa deficiencia comparado con el resto del grupo. Pero ahorita regreso al grupo. Ahorita hacemos como que no pasó ah, nada sí. y nadie sabe. Pero la idea no es de hablarlo así que todo se dé entera. O sea, es no, está bien. Eh, uno a uno. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, sí. Bueno. Mhm.
Okay, guys, welcome back, welcome back. Whoosh, it's 15 minutes. It's like that. It's finish the, the listening, the reading, try to answer. My partner do the same. Oof. How did we do? Are we ready? We're okay? Yancy, good? Yes, hoy sí, hoy sí vas a practicar frente a todos. Yes, Yancy, hoy sí, hoy sí, Yancy. I try, yes. Excellent, excellent, Yancy. Okay, all right, Yancy. Then question number one, Yancy. Show, demonstrate, demonstrate to us. Remember, the woman expresses her desire for work, for a work study job. State the requirements necessary for taking part in the program and explain the advantages discussed. Okay, yeah. she she mm -hmm. is in, she is interested about the um, work study, and she she need to fill to fill a paper by financial means, and she came to earn money about thirty three thousand for three thousand per year. And and she get um she need to fill okay and um, the 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 requirement is necessary to to par participate in the programs are to be graduate or no graduate uh, she can to earn more money and to be eligible and be able to demonstrate financial needs. Um, okay, Yancy, thank you advantage. very much. Thank you very much. It's good, it's good, Yancy. We need to organize a little bit more because remember, you need to explain where did you get the information from because you are speaking for the two, but you are not separating, right? It's like, it, it's like in the movies. If you read the book and you read the movie and you explain the two and you are mixed, right? And I don't understand if you are getting the information from the book or from the movie. Are you getting this from the reading, from the listening, from the speaking? And so you need to structure because you are making sentences, but not in correct orders, only the information. So what do we want to do, Yancy? In the next time, begin first, explain one, no explain the two, explain one, reading. According to the reading, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Then, according to the speaker, ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. And then in three, because of this, then and then you can put the correlation. But you need to organize, very nice. All right, Yancy, select okay. the next person. Who is the next person, Yancy? Who is the next victim? Okay. Is she Sandra? Sandra. Me? Excellent. Excellent. I love you, Sandra. There you go. Exactly. That's why we help each other. Okay. Sandra. Don't worry, Sandra. The same issue? The, of, the same? Course, of course. Of okay. course. Try to do your best. Okay. okay. Well, um, there is an announcement uh, in the University of Financial. Uh, where they are offering a, a work study program for students who have a financial needs. Um, the, the students can, can earn up to $3,000 per year according to the, the job they, they do, but there is a requirement uh, to be eligible uh, to be part of that program and uh, one of the requirements the best requirement is that they have to be a, a full-time student registration okay thank you very much Sandra very nice okay so pretty good you are getting you very good Sandra in your structure very good in your organization of ideas, of how you're developing. This is good. What do we need to work, Sandra? The yeah. fluency. Too many eh, 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 eh. And this, we lose the idea. The other is you have to learn the numbers. 
For example, you said $8,000 per year, but in here, that, that information is not correct. It is $3,000 per year. So <gasps> be careful with your numbers because oh. if a person listen, they are going not for the wrong, they're not, not for your pronunciation, but for your comprehension. They're going to say, oh, a person not understand correctly the data. I'm sorry. No, I was nervous. Oh, it's good. That's why. That's why we sorry. practice. That's why we practice. Sandra, select the next partner. Okay, let's see. Nicole? Nicole. All right. Nicole is ready. I got a god that it was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nicole. The same question. Do your best. One minute. Okay. Okay. Um, so do I start now? Sorry. Yes. Okay. So the work and study program gives the opportunity to the undergraduate and graduate students to earn money on the university or college to pay their study expenses. They can earn up to $3,000 per year, depending on each student financial need. They need to fill out a form so they can find out what is their financial need for each one of them. The requirements to be eligible for this program are that the student must be a full-time student and must prove the financial needs. Um, this program helps these students to have work experience and they can manage both their student and work lifestyle this way they can have more independence so they can study and work at the same time and they also um, pay their student expenses. Exactly one minute. Very good. Hey, you're getting oh. very good. I like that you use all of your time, Nicole. This is very important. You. This is exactly the idea. You continue, continue, and we, I, I have to think of more. Yes, you have to think of more, explain more, but very good idea. I was a little worried, but because you, for, you were almost forgetting to explain the advantages discussed, but at the end, the last 20 seconds, you included. So very good. Maybe only try to explain a little, at the beginning, a little bit faster, so that you have more time to discuss the correct answer, not only the background. Okay. Okay. Right. Great. Nicole, who is next? Who would you like next? Um, let me see. I would say Rodrigo. Rodrigo, okay. I think Rodrigo, he he came in a little bit late. So he didn't have a chance to, to do it. He came in. Who? So another person, no Rodrigo, okay. another person. Nicole. Okay, Jenny. Jenny, wonderful. I remember Jenny was at the beginning. Okay, Jenny, you ready? Okay. Okay, Jenny. When you are ready, you begin. Yes. One yeah. Minute. The woman expressed the her des desire for a uh, for work study job, and the requirement requirement necessary are for people student undergrad and graduate students have the opportunity to earn money three thousand. $2,000 per, per day, per year, and depending on financial need. And for all that the required is, all that required is a study a full time. A study a full time. It must be registered in full time. And must be to able to demonstrate financial okay. need. That is one minute. Thank you very much, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Jenny is very good. I'm glad that you understood the article. 
And here, that's important. The part that you forgot, Jenny, that we have to work on is answer the question according to it. So yes, it's important to explain it, but also it says state the requirement necessary for taking part of the program. And it's good. Here, that's the part that you explain. Very good. You explain all of the requirements. You explain how much money. You explain how it works. But Jenny, you didn't answer the second part. Explain the advantages that they discuss. So according to the woman in the list, in the in this part of the listening, what were the advantages? That's where we have to work about a little bit more on answering and our pronunciation of the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So I hope that helps everyone have an idea a little bit more. Remember, maybe it's not for you that you pass today, but the information help you too. Because when you have to do your answer, you learn from the other partner. Oh, I have to do this, this, and this. And we try to get better. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a link of questions. In the following links, you are going to Ask your partner the questions. You're going to give them 30 seconds to think, and then they are going to answer, okay? So open the link. And Katya, can you please ask me a question so I can demonstrate what we're going to do with the link and how we're going to answer those questions? I opened the link. Okay, Katya, you ready? Yes, sir. Katya, we don't listen. Can can you say yes or no? Yes. Katia, me escuchas. Veo que tenés el micrófono, pero no no decís nada. Sí. Oh, no me escuchan. Es que aquí está lloviendo, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Ya, ahora ya, ya escuché, está lloviendo. Okay, relax, Katia. We go to another person, another person. No problem, Katia. Okay. Vanessa, can you please ask me a question so I can show you how we're going to do it? Sure. Okay. Any questions you want is not necessary the order. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Hi. Okay. What changes had you felt after the COVID nineteen lockdown is over? Okay, good. Very good. Manny, practice more reading because your reading fluency not stop. You you have to go fluent, right? So Okay. Yeah, uh huh. No uh, after COVID. 19. Try the next time. One more time, Vanet. Go fluently. Okay. Uh, what changes have you felt after the COVID 19 lockdown is over? I have 30 seconds, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, okay. Well, COVID 19 affected a lot of people around the world. And it is a virus that has affected everybody, including myself. Some of the changes that I have felt after the COVID-19 lockdown are probably more psychological for being without communication with other people and being stressed of what am I going to do, uh, worried about my family's health as well as my own health. Also, my financial circumstances were not the same because due to the pandemic and the COVID-19, I felt that, I, and that's it, you need to expand not only, oh, I was nervous. I, I'm not healthy. I don't, no, you need to go into different areas, financial, medical, uh, health, 
the, all of the different. This is the way to have one minute and that's what you want to do. Answer the question, but before you answer directly, always try to give yourself a little bit of background to explain so that you can expand, okay? Okay. Okay, so okay. Let's, okay, let's try it again with our partners. Okay, we're going to practice different questions for everyone. Let me change just one. Hang on. Okay, I think we have two people in every group. We are ready. Okay, Vane, you're having some problems. I'll share my screen with you. We're going to go back and review the speaking test, well, the speaking section, all the videos from the speaking section. And let me try sharing one more time. Bane, any questions? Bane, uh, you seem I to... I don't know what happened, yes. You have some problems, right? Yes. Okay, I'll try again. Let's try to connect you again. Integrated questions three and five and integrated questions four and six. Going over each type of questions will help you get better results. So stay for the explanation and watch the examples. Okay, those are the ones that we're reviewing and practicing. Here are questions three and five. Welcome to the speaking section. We'll now go over speaking question three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria. The scale building tips. Here we're going to look at how the questions are structured and what they're asking, how to approach the questions, how your responses are scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your speaking skills. Question three, read a passage, listen to a response, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak, Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus-related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question five, listen to a conversation. 
20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question five, you listen to part of a conversation. Then you'll have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like and what they will be asking you to do. For question three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage, and you will need to explain how that person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So, you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and one or more solutions, you will need to describe the problem and then give your opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. Don't speak too quickly. Speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach this kind of speaking questions. Number one, be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. The questions are designed so that if you speak at a normal pace, you will have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. Question three, listen carefully to the speaker's reason for agreeing or disagreeing with points made in the reading. Make sure you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question five, as you listen, focus on identifying and understanding what the problem and possible solutions are. Then, write down a few keywords or ideas on your scratch paper. But remember, you need to do more than summarizing your response. You also need to give your opinion, so don't spend too much time summarizing. Use most of your time explaining why it is the best solution. A scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four, and they are scored holistically, which means that the rater listens for various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Delivery. Clear and fluent speech. Good pronunciation. Natural pace. Good intonation. Language use. Use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Now, here are some activities that can help you build your skills for integrated speaking tasks, especially numbers three and five about campus situations. Find an online newspaper from an English speaking university. Look for topics about campus life. Choose an article to discuss with a partner. Record yourself and listen to how you speak. Listen to hear your mistakes as well as your tone and pacing. Find listening and reading material on the same topic. Outline a one-minute response, including your opinion and supporting points. Practice improving your fluency. Try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transition words, and so on. Now, questions number four and six. How do we answer those? Let's go over speaking questions four and six, the integrated speaking questions about academic courses. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria, skill building tips. Now we're going to look at how questions are structured. Question four, read a passage, listen to lecture, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they're structured. In question four, you will read a passage about academic subject. Then you will listen to part of a lecture on the same subject. You'll have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question six, listen to lecture. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question six, you will listen to part of a lecture. Then you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question four. For question four, the reading passage will always be about an important academic term or concept that may be found in a first year college textbook.
Then when you answer the question, you will speak about how the example supports or illustrates the term or concept. For question six, the listening passage is an excerpt from an academic lecture on a single topic. Usually it starts with the professor either defining a concept or highlighting an issue. Approach tips. Take notes while listening. Write down keywords or ideas. Review notes as you prepare your response. Don't repeat yourself to fill time. Say something to clarify, develop or elaborate. Practice timing yourself. Practice with academic text. You don't need prior knowledge of a specific fields. The questions test your English. Now here are some tips about how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, the topics for these questions can be from a variety of fields, life science, social science, physical science, history, art, literature. And although it's important that you practice with academic texts, the questions are designed so that you don't need any prior knowledge in a specific field to answer the question. In other words, even though a question is about an academic topic, Ultimately, it is not testing your knowledge of that topic, it's testing your English. Scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four. They are scored holistically, which means the raters listen to various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Scoring criteria, delivery, language use, topic development, delivery, clear and fluid speech, good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation, language use, use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas, topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas, skill building tips. Here are some activities that can help you build your skills for the integrative speaking tasks, especially number four and six about academic courses. Develop your academic vocabulary. Keep a list of new words and practice pronouncing them. Read an article and record a summary. Transcribe the recording and think of other ways to say the same thing. Find textbooks in English that include the study. Okay, so now today we finish our speaking part of the test. This means that we are complete unit one, two, and three. Next week, we're going to complete section four, the writing and the final exam. So remember, if you did not finish unit three, sorry, unit three, this weekend, take a moment, make sure you are complete units one, two, and three. That way next week, it's no problem. If you have time, please go ahead and complete unit four. And then only in class, we check because the important is to, for you to continue and to get your diploma so you can participate in the next module, okay? Well, thank you so much for connecting. I know that for some of you it's difficult with the storm, but I appreciate you connecting anyways. Have a great weekend. Thank, thank you, you, you too. Good night, thank you. Goodbye, thank everybody. You. Goodbye. 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 Take care. You too.